From LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon here on Afternoons LA with huge news about your economy, your stimulus, and yes, your countdown to Halloween. In today's recording, we go over the big breaking news as the markets get ready for the auto industry report. And it's Ford, it's GM, it's also Tesla. And it comes on the heels of many analysts saying, stay away from Tesla. It's like uh, stock of the dead, day of the dead. Bread of the dead. In today's holidays, LA, we have the bread of the dead, perfectly for Tesla. Uh, you can eat your way to, <laughs> to the basement of the valuation of that stock. We're going to go the latest details of what you need to know on the markets going into tomorrow and the after plus massive stimulus. In today's recording, we go over the nearly 300 different checks, the 300,000 dollars of FSC checks. Lifetime similar checks heat up also the big second half, staying in that big second half, as we go over why you're going to be ahead of the ball game finally, getting more money than the cost of living is at that time. Why? I'll explain to you in the big second half. Then we go over the inflation relief stimulus checks, because big money is coming from your states. Next up, the latest details of what we saw with the banks at the end of last week, week and the credit industry at the start of this week, signaling an important thing to remember. Where will those people be for that stimulus stampede asking for massive stimulus? Jump in the live chat right now. When do you think that big hurt is going to be for Americans? When do you think they're going to look at the, um, the credit card and say, I can't afford this. What did I put on there? We have new insight on that today. And you got it right, but we're going to touch back on the narrative and see if there's more we learned this afternoon. Jump in the live chat. When do you think that big hurt is going to be? January, February, or March? Plus, we have the latest details on a series of new reports coming in on this economy, especially Jay Powell. You know, there's a explanation of what day of the uh, what bread of the dead is. Uh, you leave it for your for your daily departed. Um, sort of like uh, from the day where those days that have departed us from when inflation was down. You leave it out for Jay Powell so that he eats that instead of eating up the U.S. economy. There we go. In this big second half, we have a lot of stimulus and we have a lot of bread. I mean, just sort of much the same. It's a great show. It's all here. It's all brand new. And it all starts right now on Afternoon. And good afternoon, everybody. It's October 24, 2022, and you know what that means. It means your host is going to be in costume the whole rest of this week, probably. It's a big show and a lot of stimulus and a lot of bread in the big second half. Your recession, your inflation, your benefit raise, your housing market, and, of course, your unemployment. The latest breaking news with your four stimulus all heats up right now on a supersized holidays edition of LA Light. How are you? Welcome back, and I'm excited you are here. Are you in costume? You look great. Oh, you're not in costume. That's your usual look? I'm sorry. Uh, jump in the live chat. Is he we is the host wearing a wig, or is this really his hair? <laughs> we got a good show for you today. I told you we do lots of bread and bread in the big second half. Stay with me, because massive stimulus is coming up. Let's jump into the breaking news that impacts your market. Everyone's waiting for those auto industry companies to report. And the reporting of the third quarter starts tomorrow, some before the markets open, and Tuesday after the markets close, GM and Ford reporting tomorrow. Meantime, analysts have been talking about Tesla for the last few days. So jump in the live chat right now. Uh, auto companies miss or beat, and write also your state. My analysis is auto generally... Uh, mixed, but downward guidance for the whole rest of this year. We had a great analyst report coming in this weekend. Did you see it on this channel? It was great. Where the higher price to buy a car, the loan price, because of j for raising those interest rates, did not really kick in until the last few weeks. And now this is in the fourth quarter. So it's not the third quarter that's going to get that real whammo against the auto industry. It's going to be the fourth quarter. Interesting. 
So when Ford and GM reports tomorrow, you may see some of them not particularly um, that bad. You may actually see them relatively good because the bad numbers from J-Pow did not really kick in into the early part of the fourth quarter. But the downward guidance of the whole rest year may not be good at all. That latest details comes on the heels of analysts really trashing Tesla. I have never seen a company get trashed so much in such a short period of time as in the last few weeks. Now, remember, Tesla was a company that a lot of people didn't know if they should analyze it as a, as a tech company or as an auto company. And now, uh, unrelated to the events of Elon Musk and Twitter, everyone in the Sister Brothers says, stay away from that company. Do not buy that stock. Really shocking. GM... Um, is not signaling any problems for the third quarter going into the analysts income coming into that third quarter earnings report. That's great news for them. And then Ford has invested a lot of money in that electric vehicle. I was the first to really detail that um, that first Bronco, that first um, uh, Mustang uh, EV on this channel over a year ago, but it's not delivered in bottom line yet. JP Morgan analyst Raya Koopa says there's a lot of macroeconomic environments going on and the sector's not immune to it. Basically, there's a lot of junk going around in this economy and the auto industry is going to get hurt. And this, my friends, gives me one other thing that I need to remind you on. And this is a biggie. You may not own a car, you may not be buying a car, or you may actually walk. But here's what you need to remember is a lot of people and their sisters and brothers and their aunts and uncles bought cars in the last two years. Oh, we know those people. Not me. You know those people. A lot of people bought cars. And a lot of them bought it on debt. Imagine how expensive that debt is now right now. And Jay Powell's raised those interest rates every FOMC meeting since early summer. He's going to do it this month. And he's going to do it the whole rest of this year, next year, the year after that. And no one's car loan is fixed. It's all variable. So there's going to be a lot of repossession of cars. There's going to be a lot of repo of cars because people are not going to be able to afford it. And right before they want to battle that repossession, where are they going to be? Here. They're going to be here trying to get money to save items in their homes. And that's why you got to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. The auto industry is not going to give us very good indication tomorrow, you and I, about where the stimulus situation is just yet. Because the real hurt for people who can't afford the car is not going to happen right now. It's going to happen later this year and early next year. So before early in this broadcast, I said, jump in the live chat. When do you think that real hurt is going to be? Hurt is basically where people cannot afford things. And the overwhelming consensus of viewers is January, February. I agree. But when we're looking at people who have bought cars in the last two years, it could happen really soon. Because the car loan debts, that monthly payment on the car, has gone up a lot because of j and his interest rates. You didn't borrow any more against the car. It's just costing more money to pay for that car loan every month. That's why you have to get a forced stimulus check in every U.S. state. The great news is I have massive stimulus for you, and let's go over that right now. Three categories of checks. It's federal from the federal government. And the first category is checks, and they're absolutely incredible. Let's look at the three categories right now. The first category is federal stimulus checks, what I call FSC, federal stimulus checks, passed by the President of the United States, passed by Congress. They're huge, about $300,000 of checks, 300 different checks. Stay with me. We're going to go over those big checks in the big second half. Number two, inflation release stimulus checks, ISCs, because great news comes also from your states. We got those great checks coming up also in the big second half. And then a lifetime stimulus. Once your benefits go up, they never go down. You already know because you've been watching this channel since October 13th, that announcement was your benefits are going up 8.7%. But did you know you're going to have four or five other lifts? And when do they cumulatively add up? It's great news, and I'll explain it all for you in the big second half. But let's go back into the breaking news that impacts your wallet today. It is really the credit markets. Boy, if there's something you and I cannot really predict that well, because we don't know them, is people who are not viewers of this channel and how much money they are putting on the credit card and how bad their debt levels are, more, exp more importantly, do they have the cash to eventually pay for the debt? Bank America and American Express gave us some insight into those people last Friday. Those companies reported third quarter earnings. And you and I have been discussing that travel and leisure is the two best industries in this economy right now and will be the two best industries of this fourth quarter as well. 
Why? You and I know this as well. Because people got off a of lockdown, and despite whether there's $2 on the bank or $2,000 on the bank, they put money on the credit card to take a trip. And they're still taking those trips. Hotels and airlines. And that credit card debt, because of travel and leisure, has gone through the roof. That's what you and I have been talking about the last few months. That's why travel and leisure is doing so well, and that's also why debt levels are so historically high right now in the United States. But we didn't have the confirmation from the credit card companies until last Friday. When American Express, its CEO, Stephen Squeery, on an earnings call obtained by LA News, said card member spending, credit card member spending at American Express is at near record levels this third quarter. There you go. And why? Here's the answer from the CEO of America Express. We expected recovery and travel spending to be a tailwind for us, a lot of money. But the strength of the rebound has exceeded our expectations throughout the year. Surprise? You know, I'm sort of surprised. I mean, you and I saw it. We saw these people traveling. We said, who has this money? Who has this money to spend $6,000 just three times in the last two months? A trip here, another trip, and another trip. Who are these people? And then we thought to ourselves, wait, maybe they don't have the money. Maybe they're just putting on the credit card. And that's what the head of American Express says. You know, he doesn't know how much money's in their bank account, <laughs> presuming they pay their credit card bill. Uh, he just knows they have debt because of travel. And he said, I've never seen these debt levels because of travel ever in the history of, this, of, our, of our card. Then we jump over to Bank of America. And analysts are wondering whether the talk of inflation and recession, other factors, could result in slowing spending growth. We just don't see it. That's the head of Bank America, and his name is Moynihan. And that's really fascinating. He says the spending's out of control. Oh. <laughs> I just, yeah, yeah. You know, when I say this stuff, I know it's not you spending the money. I know it's not you taking $7,000 trips. It's certainly not me. Uh, but it's clearly people in this altered universe. And their universe is about to explode. Their universe is about to crash like a, like a, uh, like a Halley's Comet. Did Halley's Comet crash? Uh, well, you know, like a meteor. <laughs> I don't want to. Did LA say Haley's Comet crash? I never knew a crash. No, like a meteor. A meteor crashes. And that's why you, those people are going to be in really bad situations. I mean, let's make this clear. You and I are learning to earn. I've been teaching you since the summer. Reduce your debt, reduce your spending, get every debt you have paid off or switch it to fixed debt because J Powell's raising those rates, and get as much stimulus as you can. And then those are the other people who don't watch this channel. Let's spend our socks off. <laughs> Let's put everything in the cyst and the kitchen sink on the credit card. Let's not worry if we don't have the cash because we have a job, because ultimately the job will always be there and will always, always guarantee us a lifestyle. We'll never get fired ever in a recession. Of course not. Yeah, look how ridiculous that sounds. That's exactly what they're saying to themselves. And then they say, stimulus? I don't need stimulus. I don't need stimulus because there will always be a stimulus check for me, you know, if the economy falls apart, because Congress will always take care of me in 2023 if something happens. Did they say that? They never said that. They never said that. They never said they're going to take care of you if the economy falls apart in 2023. And those people that are living in that narrative, uh, you know what they need? They need bread of the dead. <laughs> Did I say brain of the dead? They need bread of the dead, you know, because it's brain of the dead. Uh, <laughs> brain of the dead, bread of the dead, I don't care what you call them. They are in big trouble. And it's just like those people that told you to buy, buy, buy those stocks in the month of May and June and July. And I told you, no, no, no. And you did not. I told you to keep everything in cash and liquid. And you did. I've been telling you to keep everything in cash and liquid since early this year. And now that's what analysts have now said. Everyone should have everything in cash. Get out of stocks, get out of crypto, keep it in cash because it's going to get worse. And that's why you want to get a four stimulus check at every U.S. state. Let's jump in the first three checks, the A, B, and C, passed by the President of the United States by executive action in the month of March. Let's understand how this happened. Joe Biden came around in the month of March and he did a series of executive actions. And those established the first three checks, A, B, and C. Incredible checks, nearly $100,000. Just 
absolutely incredible. And then What's important to remember about the, these incredible checks is they've been around since March. Viewers have gotten them since March. You don't want to wait to get these incredible checks. And they are all in the membership newsletter. You go down the membership newsletter, you join this channel, and you get these incredible checks. We're going to go over each of these incredible checks one at a time. You qualify. Single individual, 75000 less. Married couple, 150000 less. And if you're on bad bids, go get as well. Then came Congress. Congress passed other checks, E through K, bringing us to hundreds of checks. Massive checks. And viewers have been getting them on this channel. This is the channel that has made the difference. Viewers of this channel have gotten $50 million. It's the Purple Power community. It's you. And you have done so well. And you continue to inspire other people as part of the Purple Power. Then I found new checks L, M, N, and O, P, and Q. And yesterday, uh, a wonderful guy was in the live chat. I believe his name was John Maloof. I believe I had the first name right. He was in the live chat as we were doing the E through K, and he got check in, and I just felt so great. It was just wonderful. It was right before I got to check in, and he said, I got check in. I thought, yes, so excited for him. I'll go over his check, and your. it could be your check in just a second. But first, let's start with the first three checks, A, B, and C. First, what are you watching here? You're watching LA Light, the number three most watched financial news channel in America, launched in spring of 2020, March of 2020, it's Captivate Your Nation, now the fastest and most successful new YouTube channel in the last two years in financial news. It's absolutely been on fire here. Getting people $50 million in those last two years, no other broadcaster has ever achieved anything like that ever in the history of broadcasting. And it's all because of you, the Purple Power community. Nearly 100 new members joining every 48 hours. You do the same right now. Go into this video, become a member. It just costs a few dollars to become a member. And viewers are walking away with thousands of dollars in the first 30 days alone. It's the membership that pays for itself and a lot more. We're going to go over all those incredible checks, but we're first going to start with check A right now. Check A is $6,500 to $12,000. It's a four stimulus check in every U.S. state. It's a great check that Spelly got. And congratulations to the viewer who was in the live chat yesterday. She got this check. She was so excited. She was just besides herself. It's the weatherizing grant check. She just absolutely was giddy and just celebratory. I'm so excited for her. I just It just it warms my heart. How do you get this incredible check? You become a member. You go on this video, join this channel, then go down the membership newsletter, which I'm going to go over with you in a second, to you see check A, click the link and go in and apply. So simple. Then go get check B. Check B is fifteen dollars to $80,000. It's a four stimulus check at every U.S. state. Average view of the channel is getting $80,000 of these checks. Now, let me look and show you at the story from this wonderful viewer, Frank Mancuso. He joined for just a few dollars. What did he walk away with? Thousands of dollars. A few dollars for this channel as a member, less than $10 to become a member of this channel. And what do you get? Nearly $10,000 of this channel in less than 30 days. He got 18 months of check B, 18 months of mortgage, 18 months of utilities, 18 months of high speed internet. If it costs you less than $10 to join this, member, this channel and you walk in a way of close to $10,000, why would you not do it? It's incredible success stories happening on a regular basis. Go down the membership newsletter, you see check B, click the link, and go right in and apply. It's that simple. But you're not done there yet. You're going to go get check C for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and more. The success stories for check C are great. It's for rent, utilities, mortgage, assistance, and again, more. But here is what you need to remember. When you become a member, you go down the membership news, so you see check C. Click the link, and it tells you who to call, what to say, and how to say it. Now, here are two things to remember. Let's go step back a notch and go over check B and C once again. The average view of this channel is walking away with 18 months of rent or mortgage, and then their utility bills per month. That's about five checks per month, 18 months. That is 80 to 100 checks per month. But that's B and C. The only difference with C is they got 12 places to reach out to. Yes. So promise me two things. One, you'll stay in the big second half because we still have big checks coming up, including that check N that Mr. Maloof got from this channel over the weekend. Number two, promise me when you reach out for check C, you reach out to all 12 places in the membership newsletter because you will get a no but you also get a yes that's how we rock and roll on this incredible channel let's look at some of the success stories that viewers have gotten from that incredible check c here we go do you want these numbers for utilities then go get check c mark's bundle lock at fifteen thousand. Lynn Glenn got four uh, 14 months of utilities another viewer 14 months of utilities two viewers 12 months of rent 
How about rent? Look at this. Incredible. And you want $30,000 of rent? Go get check C. Become a member. You, do you want this for combinations checks? Go get check C. Nisu was at 23000 She went to 50000 Mark was at 32000 He went to this graphic, 50, and then he went to 100, and then he went to 166000 Can you imagine you just pay a few dollars less than $5 and you get, you walk, less than $10, and you walk away with $166,000? I mean, where else do you see return on your money like that? Nowhere. And here's Lorraine. For just a few dollars of becoming a member, she got $150,000. No, she was at one hundred five, and then she got even more. That's why she's at one fifty five right now. That's how you rock and roll. So promise me two things. One, you'll stay in the big second half. And two, you do the following to make sure you have everything lined up. Go under this video, become a member. Go under this video, subscribe. And go under this video and hit that bell so you have all notifications set to all on. Meantime, let's jump back into the breaking news happening right today. One of Joe Biden's economic advisors, along with, he works with Brian D.C., yeah, that guy, uh, was on broadcast media this morning to talk about the economy. And he got a very directed question. I like the question. I would ask the same thing. Why does the president keep on walking around saying it's one of the greatest economies ever when it's not? A new series of polls right now says Americans say the worst situation they're dealing with is inflation. And that person said, because the labor's so strong. I gotta tell ya, you know, an economy is more than one component. An economy is not just, do you have a job? An economy is also, how much are the taxes? An economy is also, how much is the inflation? An economy is also, how much is the gasoline? An economy is also, how much is the medical bills? So to just say the economy is great because one part of the economy is working really well doesn't mean the whole economy is great. And, you know, it's that sort of disconnect that doesn't resonate well with, a, with an electorate. You know, electorate uh, is smart. An electorate goes to the market. Electric uh, people who vote go buy gasoline. People go vote, also have a job, or may be retired. And they see that there are certain parts that aren't working. There are certain parts that are, that are pretty good. And that's why when you hear quotes like that, you say, you know, folks, you're just trying to spin me stuff. It's no different than if this was Russia, where you heard someone come out and just sort of speed your propaganda. When someone says the whole economy is, the whole economy is doing great, it's propaganda, because it's clearly not all doing well. When someone says one part of the economy is doing well and the other parts need fixing, that's fine. But the White House is really not taking ownership of that. And that's the problem. That's the problem. You aren't going to play, you aren't going to fool someone when that person does not have a tree in the backyard with dollar bills on it. When that person who does not have a tree in the backyard with dollar bills on it goes to the supermarket and looks at what I detailed yesterday on this channel, runaway prices of goods that are literally going through the roof in the last two weeks. I'm not getting the last two weeks. They're going to say there's something going wrong, and that thing going wrong is hurting me and adjusting my lifestyle in the way I don't like. If you missed today, yesterday's recording, let me tell you an example. The example yesterday is I went to a cheaper market that I've always patronized because it's cheaper and also has really good products, and a particular type of bread that I usually get is three forty nine. Last two, it could be two weeks ago, we went to four forty nine. Last weekend, it went to five fifty nine. In two weeks, it went up two dollars for a single loaf of bread. That is only that went from three thirty three forty nine to five ninety nine, going up a dollar every week. That shows some sort of insidious situation happening. It doesn't show that it really costs them any more money to make the bread because it's not a, it's not just it's just a whole grain bread. It shows that there's some insidious situation that they think, they think they can really stick it to people. And until someone tries to really fix that situation then the problem is really there. Another example we're going to see tomorrow in the, in the car companies is that the car companies, I got to tell you, <laughs> I look at them, I say, you really think I'm stupid? Uh, I look at the car companies, and every 10 seconds, they roll out another electric vehicle, one more beautiful than the next, and it has, they, had a, they had an electric vehicle during, the, during um, one of the commercial breaks on uh, Sunday's um, primetime game at the 8 o'clock football game. 
And during that primetime 8 o'clock game, they said, and here's the new electric v uh, pickup truck from so-and-so. And again, it was another $70,000 vehicle. How many people have, have $70,000 around to buy a car? $70,000 has now become the entry-level price of a car just because of electric? No. And that's what's becoming the sort of stick it to you. It's like, I'm going to stick it to you and I'll get you to pay $60,000, $70,000 for a car, even though you would never do that just two years ago. And that is sort of what's going on. And that is going to hurt so many parts of the economy. And that's ultimately why you need to get that four stimulus check in every USD. The big second half of this recording, we're going to go over those stimulus checks and we're going to continue with the FSCs. Then we're going to jump into the ISCs, the LSCs. And then if um, kind of the dead is much of what you think this is about, then, <laughs> then we have Pane de Muerto, you know, uh, a cani de muerto, pane de muerto, brain of the dead, bread of the bread, bread of the dead. We got a lot of bread coming up in the big second. <laughs> bread that is delicious and even more bread that is delicious. <laughs> Lots of stimulus and more coming up in the big second half and it's all for you. I'll see you back in 60 seconds as all the great news that puts money in your wallet heats up on this channel and it's holidays continues. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues in the big second half on the shores of San Marcos, California for an October 24, 2022. I will be in costume with you sometime this week. I mean, maybe I am right now. You just can't really tell. <laughs> I mean, that's what is that what you say when you watch the sound just walk into the center ballroom? Uh, dining room, you know, it's <laughs> in this big second half. We have massive stimulus for you. We're going to pick up where we left off with those FSC checks, federal stimulus checks, because once it comes from Congress, it's always there. How are you? Hope you're having a beautiful afternoon. FSC checks are from the federal government. So they are in every U.S. state. They are written, they are paid for, and they are administered by the federal government. And they are for every U.S. state and U.S. territory. Let's pick up with those checks that Congress did. E through K. E through K, $7,500 for a brand new delicious car. Then F, $4,000. Great. G, a wonderful 30% off. H, great stimulus on H. That is... $2,000. Wow. Then we go to Stimulus I. Stimulus I is a whopping $8,000. Huge. And then J, $8,000. Incredible. And then we go to Stimulus K, $14,000. Love it. Love it. Now, we're not done there. Yeah, we got more stimulus after that. We got Stimulus L, $100,000 on average of loan is free money. Huge. M, $4,000 of free grant money. Just great. And then we get to Stimulus N. Stimulus N, my favorite stimulus of all the stimuluses. It's $100 towards a brand new computer, tablet, or laptop, and brand new free internet. Stimulus N. And yesterday, when I was recording live on mornings, we had on the live chat John Maloof. I believe I had the first name right, but I remember the last name quite clearly. And he said, I got Stimulus N. 
I got a brand new tablet. So let's give a round of applause for John Maloof. Just incredible. Just incredible. He is now watching the show on a brand new tablet. Just wonderful. Most tablets are less than $100. And these tablets are just powerful. Great, great instruments. And this could be yours. Just a few dollars. Just a few dollars to become a member and walk away with a brand new tablet. Where else can you see anything like this? Stimulus, oh, just even better. This is zero down payment, zero closing costs, and also zero credit check and no insurance required. That's for a brand new home, a Stimulus P, which is the huge um, 3% down for refi and $8,000 is Q for closing costs. <laughs> There you go. That is FSC. Just incredible. Let's recap and also go with some other details about those federal stimulus checks. So again, these are from the federal government. Every U.S. state, every U.S. territory, number one. Number two, largest check, $100,000. Smallest check, $8,000. Fastest routing time, two days. Johnny started on Monday getting $45,000 by Wednesday. By Friday, he had $80,000. He applied with 17 programs and got eight approved. He helped his mom and dad each get $50,000 the next week. Then he got 20 people, friends and families in his neighborhood, get a quarter million dollars. What are these checks for? It's all different things. The car, the home appliance, the washer, dryer, the refrigerator, the furnace, the home repairs, the rent, the utilities, the mortgage, the uh, and similar items, the computer, the tablet, and just a little bit of something for everyone. It's stimulus A through Q. You get it. You get this first because this is the big sums of my massive stimulus across the board. The success stories for stimuluses A through Q have been the following. Johnny, you saw that with 20 people getting $250,000. Dragon, for her and her family, she got them $175,000 for the channel. She's a triple member to all three channels and longtime volunteer. We have Lorraine, $150,000. Mark, 166. It's happening all the time, and that story could be yours. As you've seen, people just join this channel for just a few dollars. They walk away with $1,000 in just a few days. And congratulations to John for that incredible brand new tablet he's watching with tonight. Now, in addition to that stimulus, we also have inflation relief stimulus checks. And these are great. These are from your states. How are these slightly different? Number one. They are about $1,000 on average. Number two, direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Number three, you learn about them by going down in the membership newsletter, check D. And at check D, open the link. It'll tell you your state. It'll give the amount, and it'll give you a website to track the latest details on it. It's great. You don't want to start with ISCs. You want to start with FSCs because they're the big sums of money. Now, in addition to all that, I also have for you lifetime stimulus. You learned and watched and saw on this channel October 13th that your benefits are going up 8.7% next year. But did anyone ever explain to you the other lifts of your benefits? Probably not. And I'm going to explain that to you right now. Yesterday, I hilariously butchered this when I got to this part of the video. So let's see if we can slow it down and do it a little clearer. Imagine a skyscraper and you are on the first floor, the lobby floor number one. We're going to call the lobby the first floor number one. And this is two years ago. Last year, your benefits raised you 5.9%. So you went up to the second floor. Got it right this time. You went up to the second floor when your benefits raised you 5.9% last year. Now on October 13th this year, they said next year you're going to get another raise to 8.7%. So you're going to go from the second floor to the third floor next year. But we're not done there yet. Because in 2023, you'll get another lift for the next year. And in 2024, you get another lift for the year after that, 2025. Why do we know that? Because Jay Powell said there's going to be two more years of inflation. Wow. So you're going up every year until 2025 at least. By 2025, what will happen to the price of milk and eggs? Down, 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 down. Every year your benefits are going to go up, and every year inflation is going to go down. That's how it works. So by 2025, you will have a lot more monthly checks coming in than how much it costs to go buy the goods. That's why you're going to be head of the ball game, and it's absolutely one of the first times of a generation. Congratulations. Number two, 
It's all direct deposit. Otherwise, you don't have to do anything for this. Number three, the impact of medical uh, medical bills or Medicare plan B no longer there because they passed that bill over the summer. That eliminated that altogether. And that's how we rock and roll. Congratulations to all the incredible viewers who've been tracking this left and right. And let's go back into the breaking news that impacts your wallet and why this week is going to be so important. So over the last two weeks, what we've seen on this channel is banks and credit cards reporting earnings. But we really haven't seen the impact of inflation on basic consumer good businesses. So we're waiting to see some of those consumer good businesses or some non uh, some non banks, some non financial industry businesses reporting corporate earnings this week. Meantime, tech will also report this week. What do we know about tech? We know about tech that they have been negatively impacted by J Powell and the Federal Reserve, because as the Federal Reserve raised rates, it made the U.S. dollar stronger, and so multinational companies that have a lot of business overseas, but even though are originated from Los Angeles or San Francisco, they have less people buying their products because the dollar is so much stronger against their currency. So we have auto reporting this week. We have tech reporting this week, but we really want to see the, the, the tech and the consumer staples because we really want to get a sense of where this economy is going and that spending power. Boy, a lot to digest, but that's why if you're having problems digesting, you need to get something more delicious, and it's called Pane de Muerto in <laughs> today's Allies LA. We have a feature, I've never featured, an, an element I've never featured before on this channel. For the Halloween season, it's called Pane de Muerto, Bread of the Dead. And it's a very, very delicious bread that rolls out in the last few weeks. Started early in October. It's still in the supermarkets, particular types of markets. And Pane de Muerto is just wonderful. I bought this one you just saw in the last few hours. I've had, uh, this is, an, I, well, I bought more than one. <laughs> the other one I've already been eating. I didn't want to eat on set for you, but I've already been eating. And this is absolutely delicious. Let's read what it says about Pane de Muerto. This one actually has a nice little story on the back. The Pane de Muerto tradition is part of our roots and culture. Once a year, our dearly departed visit the homes where they are remembered. They're referring to senators that were voted out of office. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they're referring to Wall Street analysts who betted against the Federal Reserve. You know, they're, they're long gone. <laughs> they're betting on people who said that Doge was going to go to a dollar. They're very long gone. <laughs> You know, you know those people. They just—they're long departed. The people who said Doge, Dogecoin is going to go to one dollar. Just they're—they're they're gone. The people who thought lobster shorts are going to be uh, hot, hot couture. Yeah, they're long gone. They're just—they're—they're—they're they're, they're, they're dearly departed. Uh, <laughs> they visited us to give us comfort and enjoyment of being able to partake with them again. So only the best flavors and products and the highest qualities are displayed at our altars and an offering for such a special occasion. In that same way. Wow, how nice. So it's basically describing when dead people come back, we got bread for them. <laughs> I could just hear the keyboards typing in the live chat. Do you hear them typing? Do you hear the keyboards typing? It's just typical. They got bread for dead people, but they don't have bread for people who are alive. <laughs> they got stimulus for dead people, but they don't have stimulus for live people. <laughs> no, this is bread, not that type of stimulus bread. <laughs> You know, that's always so complain. Why do they have to have bread for dead people? Can we have bread for live people? You know, that shows what's wrong with the U.S. economy. Uh, I'm not going to get bread from this Congress until I die. This is, no, this is pan de muerto, not, you know, stim de muerto. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, it's delicious. What does it taste like? It tastes like challah bread with a little bit of sesame seed on the outside. It's something you can make at home. There's other versions of it without the sesame seed against the white sesame seed. Uh, I know there's going to be some great bakers in the live chat, so they're all going to have their own version of this recipe. You know, you can do the sesame seed a little bit toasted, but you don't want to do it on this bread because it's a very soft bread. This is a very soft pull-apart bread. I remember one time... 
Crayola talked about uh, monkey bread almost a year, two years ago. It's sort of like a monkey bread, but this is not that sweet. I know dragons in the live chat somewhere are giving us are giving out a recipe on this one <laughs> right away. There's multiple versions of the Panny Dimwetch. It also also comes in a very nice bag usually. Um, and in the stores, they do a great display for this. I've seen a lot of different stores. They do a display like um, like it's an altar for. Um, the end of Mitch's term in Congress. <laughs> no, it's just, you know, uh, it's just, you know, it's, uh, I, I wanted to pick a picture of the economy on, on the altar there and just say, you know, I pray to that as well. <laughs> You know, what else are you going to be praying to um, uh, next to the bread? Jump in the live chat. What will you be praying for in addition to better bread? I will be praying for... Um, <laughs> I will be paying for that tech um, beats on earnings calls this week. I will be praying for that auto uh, does now does not downward guide as much as we think it's going to do for the last rest of this year. I will uh, pray for more indication that the U.S. consumer is stopping their ridiculous spending. I mean, it's just you know, I got to tell you, it, it it really looks like they're crazy. It does not, I mean, do you feel that those people literally look crazy? They are just spending their socks off. The job ain't paying them any more money. And they just really think that everything is here and perfect. And yet they're going paycheck to paycheck. They're, they don't have a lot of savings built up. I, I just see this ending very scary. And every time you and I have talked about something that we think is going to end badly, it does. I mean, we talked about j Powell raising rates and Wall Street betting against that in July. And we said the market's going to crash. Remember back in July, we said, you know what, everyone except us, well, most everyone except us, was running this face narrative and saying, buy stocks in July, buy stocks in August. I said, stay away from those people. They are scary. They are very scary, and they're going to make people lose a lot of money. And they weren't you, because we understood how off-bounds they were, just out of touch they were. There's a lot of that going on right now in this economy. And it even starts with that uh, Bernstein guy who appeared on from Joe Biden's uh, cabinet this morning, saying that this economy is a great economy because labor is great, but um, saying the other parts of the economy will, you know, and sort of avoids the rest of the sentence. No, certain parts of the economy are not doing well. Certain parts of the economy are doing well. But unless the whole economy is doing well, it's then it's not. I mean, you can't just say one of seven parts is doing well, hence the whole thing is fine. No, you got to have all the pistons in the car running. And I'll have more about this tonight on 80s L8 at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time from the shores of Santa Monica, California. Meantime, jump on the live chat and always inspire. Always tell people what you're doing. Give encouragement to people who achieve and continue to encourage other people to achieve. Finally, one of my favorite new features on this channel. Let's do it right now. Time zone check. Jump in the live chat right now if you've been watching this channel for the last few days and write your time zone, comma, your state. If you don't know the answer, good. I'm going to teach you right now. It's very important. Why? To know exactly when the membership newsletter comes. And I got to tell you, since I launched Time Zone Check on this channel about a week ago, I've gotten almost no questions about where is my newsletter and why can I not find it because people now realize that they were looking at the wrong time. The newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is my time here in Los Angeles. Now, what is that time? When is it delivered to you? If you're on the East Coast, your time is Eastern Standard Time. And the newsletter is delivered to you, New York, New Jersey, Florida, East Coast Standard Time, EST, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. So time zone check. What time zone you are on the East Coast? You are Eastern Standard Time, EST. And what time is that for the newsletter? 10 o'clock. Let's then go to the Midwest. Midwest, what time zone is the Midwest? It's Central Standard Time, CT. And what time zone, what time is the newsletter delivered to you? You're not, you're two hours ahead of to me. So you are nine o'clock Central Standard Time. Yes, the newsletter is delivered Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, but that nine o'clock Central, if you live in Missouri and Illinois, for example. What about the mountain? Like Arizona, that is eight o'clock MT time. So there you go. I've had some people in the live chat ask me questions and I did not know the answer. So I'm not going to look like I know it because I'll be foolish. What time zone is this Texas in? Um, that's a hard question. I think Texas is in two time zones. 
And I think Arizona or New Mexico is in two time zones. So some of these are sort of, you know, some of these are really uh, tough questions, um, but you're doing a really great job on that. Newsletters delivered exactly at the time. Become a member, go right in this channel, join this channel and get that newsletter and pounds and get all the incredible sums of money. Then join me tonight at 5 o'clock Pacific Star Time. We got a big day coming up and we're just getting started from the shores of San Marcos, California. Thank you for joining me on this special holidays edition. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with Ally for more.